Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking now: FBI report on Kavanaugh in Senate showdown happening now over findings. The long-awaited FBI report that looked into accusations against Judge Brett Kavanaugh is in, and a Senate showdown is about to take place over the findings. The left will scream that due diligence was not done and the right can finally get on with the confirmation process. It's high drama on Capitol Hill today. Senators will get their first peek at the FBI's background investigation on sexual misconduct allegations against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh today. Hanging precipitously over their heads is a series of votes to confirm Kavanaugh. They should take place this weekend. Christine Blasey Ford's attorneys are already going over the report word by word hoping to shoot it down and delay the confirmation. But a completed report is almost certain to sway certain senators and cement others ahead of the confirmation vote. Fox News is reporting that the report shows no evidence corroborating the allegations of sexual assault or misconduct against the nominee. No one should be surprised by that. The FBI has investigated Kavanaugh before this multiple times. It is also being reported that nine people were interviewed by the FBI and there was one sworn statement by another witness. This goes well beyond the original Senate request for interviews with four people, though the FBI did not dive into Kavanaugh's drinking habits in high school, one area of contention, because the Senate did not formally request the information. Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley tweeted out this morning that the committee has received the supplemental FBI background file. Grassley said he has agreed with ranking member Senator Dianne Feinstein to alternating equal access for senators to study content from additional background info gathered by nonpartisan FBI agents. From Fox News The FBI was tasked by Trump last week to look into allegations of sexual misconduct leveled against Kavanaugh by three women. The investigation commenced after Ford, the first woman to come forward, testified before the Senate Judiciary last week about her claims against the federal judge. The White House announced early Thursday that it has also received the FBI's supplemental background investigation into Kavanaugh, and is fully confident that President Trump's pick will eventually be confirmed to the Supreme Court. Attorneys for Ford slammed the FBI background investigation for not interviewing the California professor, who has accused Kavanaugh of pinning her to a bed during a house party in Maryland in the early 1980s, attempting to remove her clothes and putting his hand over her mouth when she tried to scream. An FBI supplemental background investigation that did not include an interview of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, nor the witnesses who corroborate her testimony, cannot be called an investigation, the statement read. We are profoundly disappointed that after the tremendous sacrifice she made in coming forward, those directing the FBI investigation were not interested in seeking the truth. Ford told the committee that she was 100 percent certain that Kavanaugh was her attacker. Kavanaugh has vehemently denied the allegations. Mark Judge, a friend of Kavanaugh's who previously said in a letter to the committee, that, he did not recall the events described by Dr. Ford in her testimony nor did he see Brett act in the manner Dr. Ford describes, was among those interviewed by the FBI. The FBI also interviewed Deborah Ramirez who has accused Kavanaugh of exposing himself to her during a party while they were students at Yale University, according to the Associated Press. Supplemental FBI background file for Judge Kavanaugh has been received by Atsin Judiciary Ranking Member Fonstein and I have agreed to alternating equal access for senators to study content from additional background info gathered by nonpartisan FBI agents one-third. Chuck Grassley In the end, Kavanaugh's confirmation comes down to three moderate Republican senators voting for him. Jeff Flake, Susan Collins, and Lisa Murkowski. Senator Joe Manchin, DWV, who is facing a re-election battle, also has said he will make his decision after the FBI probe. I am fairly certain that Collins and Murkowski will keep their word and Manchin will probably follow suit. It's Flake that worries me. I have never trusted him. Republicans outnumber Democrats in the Senate 51 to 49. It will be mostly a party-line vote. If there is a tie. Vice President Mike Pence would be the deciding vote. I will be shocked if Kavanaugh is not confirmed here and if that happens, I hope President Trump turns around and nominates Senator Mike Lee. He's already vetted, is pro-life and would be a true originalist on the court. Plus, it will totally tick off the left. Win. Win. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.